of werewolves and magic. Legends of werewolves and lycanthropy date back further than the earliest records of Herodotus. The term werewolf, that's W-E-R-W-U-L-F, is very old itself. It translates to man-wolf. The term is believed to originate from Anglo-Saxon England, where it was the name of a scholar in the court of King Alfred in 1020 AD. Yet, for the first known tale of a man-wolf, we must journey back further to ancient West Asia. Indeed, spectators of myth, this tale of lycanthropy, the act of turning a human into a wolf, dates back nearly four millennia. This story from the Epic of Gilgamesh details how he denied the love of his suitor, Ishtar, the goddess of war and sex, because of how she treated her admirers. Legend has it that this Mesopotamian deity transformed a young shepherd into a wolf after becoming bored with him. But that was lycanthropy, not the beast we know as the werewolf. For that, spectators of myth, we must journey 2,000 years forward in time to the Roman Empire in 61 AD. It is the reign of Nero, and his scribe Petronius has drafted his storybook, The Satyricon, a compilation of tales. One story recounts the Roman soldier Niceros and a man he was traveling with. While on the road, they stopped by a graveyard where Niceros' friend suddenly disrobed, took a circular leak, and then transformed into a wolf before running away. Niceros later learned that this creature was put down by a spear-handy servant on a farm it was attacking. Werewolf transformations were also said to be used as a form of religious punishment by the Catholic Church. Indeed, we now travel to 5th century Ireland and to the time of St. Patrick. Some say the patron saint of Ireland would turn pagan worshippers into werewolves. Legend has it that he was angered by the Welsh king Veridicus and transformed him into one as well. In the centuries that follow, Ireland would earn another name, Wolfland. And as time passed, all throughout Europe and North America, people thought to be werewolves were hunted and put to the fire. Yet, not all who were thought to be claimed to be in league with the darkness. And for that story, we must travel to 17th century Sweden, where in 1692, the 80-year-old Thies of Kaltenburn was being put to trial for heresy. Thies claimed he was a werewolf doing the Lord's work. In fact, he called himself a Hound of God. He said he and others journeyed into hell several nights a year where they claimed to have fought witches and the devil himself. The judges, however, thought Thies had other motives and sentenced him to flogging and banishment. So there you have it, spectators of myth. Four tales of wolfmen and lycanthropy from across the world. Next up, we'll be looking to North America and the swamplands of Louisiana, where, legend has it, a werewolf known as the Rougarou is said to dwell. Until next time, spectators of myth, thanks for listening.